The Amazons are landing on the walls of this great city and to face them today there are two other Amazonian armies. We have an Amazonian civil war going on here guys. We have the Amazonian traditionalists and Nova Amazonia facing off against, uh, well, normal Amazonia <laughs> and the Caledons. And yes, this is an excellent New World mod siege battle sent in by a member of the Discord and a sub. And uh, yeah, definitely worth sticking around to see how this one ends, guys. It is an excellent, excellent siege. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already joined the Discord, then I definitely would recommend you do so if you've got Discord. Oh, just go and get it. And then you can interact with myself and uh, many other subs and get yourself some games on uh, Total War. Any most Total Wars. Um, but yeah, you can see these Amazonian armored infantry just coming off the walls. They're getting javied by these uh, armored, uh, these uh, Amazonian royal swords. Sorry. Um, but also, if you're enjoying the content at the moment and would like to see more New World mod uh, or Rome 2 uh, content, then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And as I've been saying that, a wall has come down here for the Amazonians to breach through and we've got Amazonian legionnaires here ready to go into the breach and they're going to be met with some Amazonian royal swords. I do believe these uh, armies are on large so obviously there's going to be a lot of men to be killed and a lot of women to be killed since there's three Amazonian armies. Um, it looks like the Caledonians are getting off the wall quite easily and they've not really got much resistance. I don't think they've got any resistance. The first bit of resistance they look like they're going to be facing is here and it's going to be some Amazonian Royal Spears in a shield wall and they've got lots of uh, deployables ahead of them. Yeah, these guys are, uh, or these women, I should say. They look ready. They look nasty. And they look scary. And yeah, I mean, that is a nasty, nasty formation there. And uh, that's going to be pretty hard to break through. I mean, there is a hole here, that, so they might want to stretch out their units a bit more. Or maybe they're leaving it there for a, a, a trap or a strategy or whatever. Who knows? But, uh, I mean, it looks like Amazon's taking their time and just getting off the walls and, well, uh, you know, they don't seem to be doing anything, really. They just, I mean, they're taking the time getting off the walls. They're going to javi first, I think, every single, like, person that they see. But, I mean, they're, they're taking fire here for no reason. They need, they don't need to just, these citizen hotplates, I know there's only, it's a cheap unit, but you still need every unit you can get. It's a very heavy spear unit. They need to get every unit they can get off the walls. Got more citizen hoplites here, more armored infantry. Gonna be met by uh, armored infantry and royal spears. Seems like the quality of troops for uh, Amazon is a lot uh, poorer than the defenders, which is kind of worrying. Media oh, uh, Amazonian axe warriors, you've not seen these people before, so have a look at them. They look quite cool. Uh, medium sword infantry unit, you can kind of tell in their armor. So, I mean, that's a weakish unit. But they do look like they've got most of their strongest units in like in the front lines. And here we go. The first bit of engagement. Amazonians, uh, legionnaires going in against some royal spears. Excellent. The civil war has begun. And the armor is just so great in this mod. I just can't get over how great this is. It truly is just some great, great work being done here on this mod. And this is the New World mod, so if you're new to this, uh, well, new to the channel and don't know this mod, or you've just not seen the previous video I did on this uh, mod, then, uh, and you'd like to check it out, then I'll leave a link to uh, the Discord and to the uh, Steam, like, workshop page for it. So you can go and install the mod nice and quickly with no uh, hassle of finding it. And then you can get in some battles yourself and check out some of these uh, excellent, excellent factions. And there is soon to be a new update, as I already mentioned in the past video, there is to be a new update very soon uh, with adding new factions and uh, adding to the campaign that is already uh, in place, like the Grand Campaign. They are planning to do... Uh, stuff for Wrath of Sparta as well, and for uh, Caesar and Gaul. So it'll be really exciting to see uh, what happens in like those uh, like DLC campaigns. What they do with them. But are there any more engagements anywhere else? Doesn't look like 
they've engaged anywhere else. Still waiting on the walls to, uh, well, I guess jabby their way down. But these Legionnaires are getting destroyed by these Royal Swords. They're having a really rough time. I mean, the uh, Amazonian traditionalists remind me with their shields that they have. Remind me of just Gauls. They like, have got like a Gaelic sort of a style going on. Maybe that's kind of the idea that they are supposed to have. Obviously, like the main Amazonian faction is supposed to be like a Roman faction with its legionnaires. Then you've got maybe like a Gallic sort of style Amazonian faction. And then maybe, I think you say no, but Amazonia is sort of like nomadic. They've got pretty good cab. They've got pretty good archers. So that's what I'd say, but I may be wrong, entirely wrong. I Surely the uh, I've got it right on the normal Amazonians being legionnaires. That's got to be, uh, I've got to got that one dead to rights. But yeah, in comes some swords now. So, I mean, I don't know why they're really, uh, do they need to send these guys in? I mean, they keep losing occasionally, but they look like they're going to massacre these uh, legionnaires. That they could do against marchers, yeah. Get some Amazonian archers onto this wall. Did... Yes, okay, so Nova Amazonia has better archers than any of the other Amazonian factions. Which is why I presume they're a bit more nomadic. And they did bring some Amazonian armoured archers, so that's good. They did bring some of them. Obviously, they've not really engaged on this side yet, because, I mean, there's... They've got such a long way to travel as, uh... Caledonia. What's he brought? Her riders? Ooh. Got some captain on the battlefield. Amazonian Peltas. Not seen these uh, people before. Or these women before, I should say. And they look pretty good. I mean, again, sort of like that nomadic sort of look. Um, and uh, an armor. And I don't know how many Javis they'll have, but I, I presume about four-ish. They look like they've got, got another spear unit into this wall. Uh, spear wall. So, I mean, they've now got no gaps. And... Uh, that is a very, very uh, nasty, unformidable uh, force. Ah, it's always been there. It's just that it's hidden. Okay. Fair enough. But yeah, that's a formidable force there. Four units of royal spears. Um, they're pretty good. I think they're like the third best unit that they can bring in the spear category. So that will be nasty to break through. These armored infantry here. Still waiting on the wall, just doing nothing really. Just kind of... Mind their own business. I mean, they definitely need to get off the wall and probably start attacking. Um, maybe. I mean, they're just getting shot up. But you can see these guys are just getting shot up. They've already lost 40 men or women from doing that. They probably want to send more troops in here. They're going to lose otherwise. Um, I mean, they're just shooting anything uh, that's in reserve. It's not a bad idea. Shoot the Amazon and Axe Warriors. Shoot, I'd weaken up these Royal Swords as well. Because they are cleaning house down here. These legionnaires are just getting obliterated. But yeah, I mean, that looks like a fresh unit in there. Yeah, more Amazon or Amazonian armored infantry now sent in to replace the legionnaires. They should probably win. We now have a fight over here as well. Uh, we have more Amazonian armored infantry fighting royal spears and armored infantry. Okay. Right, so now the pressure has been put on them on several different flanks. We'll start to see where the Nova Amazonia does crumble. I mean, they'll have less money as a defender. So you, they'd have surely less elite units, I would have thought. But perhaps not. Perhaps not. I mean, a lot of Amazonian faction, like, units are elite. They're just quite cheap. Like, I'd say that the, uh, Hoplite Sisters are, are, like, really, really good. And they only cost 600. And I thought in the battle that I played not long ago, they did quite well. They did quite well. But yeah, there you go. The archers starting to fire. I mean, that's not the greatest of angles. I mean, they are obviously going to hit stuff, being a bow unit. But they kind of want to, like, get behind them almost. So, like, shoot from, like, here almost and shoot in. But they, uh, obviously, they can't now because there's some citizen hot plights. 
that are going to flank around and threaten this flank here. Really good. I mean, Amazon, uh, the Amazonian player here really wants to push more troops around here. Kind of just because one unit on its own is not going to be enough. As you can see here, they have three units in reserve. Amazonian elite infantry. These, uh, I was about lasses. Oh, well, these women are really, really strong. This is a really, really strong uh, unit. And do not mess with these these women. They will, uh, in the battle I fought, they just destroyed Etruria. I mean, Etruria is, uh, cl they've clearly made up of weak men. So no wonder we beat them. But uh, they are nasty. And you, the pikes are now in already. Pike wall being sent in. To come and face down the Amazonian Axe Warriors. Obviously, these guys are gonna, uh, these women are gonna lose. I keep calling them guys. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say guys because it's, it's just instantaneous. It's what I, not sexist in any way. It's just instantaneous. What I would say. Uh, and I don't really want to keep going back on myself, but uh, Amazonian Axe Warriors losing, and it looks like the Amazonian traditionalists are going to reform and make like a sort of a V-shape here so they can almost, so the pikes have to uh, go in one direction and they'll be flanked from another. But they are going to break that Amazonian Legionnaire there. They're at least going to take one unit with them. But um, yeah, I mean, now would be a good time for the Amazonian traditionalist if he's brought archers or even Nova Amazonia's archers to get up, start firing on this pike wall, set up somewhere and fire on that pike wall. Because that pike wall won't attack this defense here. Or it shouldn't, anyway. I say it won't. It shouldn't. Um, they may may definitely go into one of these sides. I mean, if they send enough infantry to support, then the pikes can push one side, and the infantry can just hold on the other. But uh, we'll have to see. But yeah, the citizen hot plates here getting absolutely destroyed because Nova Amazonian's got more armored archers up on this wall here, and he's just shooting into the back of any of these units. Uh, uh, well, show this, show their backs. Uh, I would definitely not continue to assault here. It's just not a good idea. You're not going to break through. So only all these citizen hot plates anyway. Apparently, they can't deal with the uh, like the screaming, like in these units, like when they uh, attack. Apparently, or they can't deal with it like to the con level that's like constant screaming. Which is a shame, because I don't want to constantly be hearing them just screaming at each other. It's uh, a bit annoying. The only uh, downside of Amazons. Uh, but it doesn't look like the Caledons have been engaged just yet. These heroic riders are just kind of running around outside, just getting shot up for some reason. Um, but I mean, yeah, Caledonia is just taking his time. Is he firing? Uh, I wonder... Who I can hear artillery going in. Yeah, he's firing and trying to take out a breach here. Not a bad idea. He's firing from here with a Briton Ballista. Is he gonna? F he might take it out in this in this volley. No, one more, and then yeah, that's why the riders are waiting around. Then we need another quick volley. Then another volley, please, Briton Ballista. Here we go. This will take it out. I really hope so. Yeah, there we go. Right, the riders can go in and they can cause havoc now. And they they need to do a joint attack. They need to attack on this side. Uh, these like Caledonian chosen swords need to go in attack these uh, royal spears, and then this cavalry can just hammer an anvil, and it can go. Oh, the general is already open for Nova Amazonia, already open and able to be like attacked. They need to get in these tribalist warriors yet. I mean, they're not they're not great, but just get them inside. Uh, I wouldn't even attack this. Oh, these heroic right now riders are going to run down these guys. I don't know whether this is going to be good or bad or what. I mean, they got a good charge. That was a really good charge by the heroic riders, but uh, they only took out two elite infantry. Jeez. I told you these guys are tanks, and then some more are here. And now the general's going into combat. Heroic riders versus the Amazonian general. I'm pretty sure the Amazonian general outnumbers them in men. No. Well, yeah, it actually does. And they've got Amazonian elite infantry nearby to help out. Cavalry engagements are such messes. They're just a mess of horse and men. Just coming together. And there we go. It looks like... Uh, well, the Amazonian Elite Infantry going in to help their uh, general out is definitely going to turn the tide in their favor. And their, the Heroic Rider is already losing. Um, so, yeah, that possibly wasn't the greatest idea. They should probably held on to the cav, waited. Just try to secure the choke point first with infantry. Then maybe send in some uh, some cavalry to like, try and get around. I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to uh, judge what they should have done. At least they got one of the cavalry units alive. I mean, it's got 61 men left. They charged... 
They got three gay, uh, three women in the end. And here we go. They're going to have to send in some painted ones to fight them out. The painted men of Scotland going in. And uh, I don't imagine these guys are winning. I do not imagine for one second these guys are going to win this fight. They might initially get some good, uh, like, charges or, or, like, with the charge that they got in, they might get some good kills, but I don't think they're going to get many uh, kills. Oh, they're losing decisively? These hammers don't need an elite infantry? What? What is that? These paid ones are, like, beating the Amazonian lead in what and they're very tired though all of a sudden instantly and these guys are f uh, these uh, Amazonians are fresh so I wonder whether that'll change but they're losing that's insane are they gonna try and get another charge off or are they gonna send in the other painted one I'd send in the other one send the other one in now send the fresh one in try and do exactly the same they were winning that fight though the Caledonians uh shouldn't have possibly pulled out from that they were starting to lose troops but they were still killing a lot of Amazonians, and this is a good unit to kill off. And there you go, they're attacking on the front lines as well, and the general's having to try and go in to stop this heroic rider charge. I don't think it's really making a difference to heroic riders in the back. Look at the antlers that they, like, strap onto their horses to kind of, like, make them really scary. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't think these, uh, this first wave of Caledonians is going to be enough to break through all these royal spears. There's just so many of them. They kind of remind me of the Thrones like units a little bit. Just like their armor. And then, yeah, look at these units already down to like 80. That's not even gone to combat. What happened? What happened? The painted ones going back in. And they're losing again. This is insane. This is such a good unit then to use against Amazonians. Should keep this in mind for those watching. If you've got the mod and you're fighting Amazonian elite infantry from like the Nova Amazonian faction. Caledonian painted ones seem to be really, really good. And, like, they've not even got the tower support of these Caledonians. So, I mean, that's insane. Yeah, they got a lot of kills. I mean, they I think they might lose. And they're definitely going to lose now that a fresh one's arriving. But they've done so much damage. Have they got more painted ones? I don't know. I do not know. Yes, they have. Good. More painted. They're going to need every painted, like, warrior unit they can find. Just cover more men in paint. Just like, right, we need every single painted one we can get. But, I mean, they've got some more elite infantry going in here. Jeez, they have so much elite infantry. I wonder what the money like limit was. Because they just spammed out these uh, elite infantry. I don't think this one's going to do so well. Because I think the uh, elite infantry got off the charge. Yeah, the elite infantry got off the charge. You need to get the charge off on these guys. And you'll do really well. They obliterate that. That was 140 some, Like 42, I think. And it's down to 45 and routing instantly. Wow. Highland Hunters having to run. Got Britain Chariots coming in though. Will they be able to do damage? Chariots. Do your worst. Oh, that was not bad. I mean, these ones are going to get some kills as well. I mean, hopefully they can just mow down these uh, Lee infantry. Get through. Maybe get to the... Uh, yeah, they're just beelining for the uh, rear lines here. Which I was expecting them to do. And they're going to just try and do as much hammock, havoc as possible. Much damage. I don't know if they're going to do much. Because they're just getting slowed down by the Lee infantry. But they're in there. And that's the main thing. And there, in comes the general again. He's coming in back in. Any threat to this rear line, and the general's just like, right, I must get in there. But I mean, he's pretty low. I mean, he's not that low, but he's lost about half his strength, nearly. These Lee infantry are pretty beaten up, but not that beaten up yet. And these uh, painted ones are now. They got the charge off to the second, more fresh unit. And that's enough. I mean, now Caledonia is basically being forced outside the settlement once again. And, uh, well, not much you can do about that now. He might have to just take it a bit slower. I mean, you can carry on his persistence on this side. He might as well. But, uh, if he's got artillery left, I'll take out these towers. I'll take out that tower, for instance. Did he take this one out? He might have shot this one to pieces. Or well, this one might have already been destroyed. I'm not sure. But if he has any more ammo, I'll take out the final one. And he's got archers now firing. He's got Highland Hunters firing into here. Trying to take out some of these elite infantry. And they are actually dropping quite quickly. They've already been in combat, these guys. So, I mean, they are pretty susceptible to being shot. And how many men... They yeah, they're losing, like, quite a lot. Like, every single, like, volley. That's good for uh, Caledonia. That they could possibly take out some of these units. Or certainly weaken them before they send them, like, in their next wave of infantry. Because, I mean, the Caledonian infantry is not the strongest. 
They've got painted ones. They've got they've got actually a lot more painted ones. They've got uh, the artillery is still uh, going. I would still take out that final unit. I don't know why they brought the artillery around here. Should have sent it around the uh, front. But I mean, they got like um, an axe unit, which so same as the Irish. But I don't think they brought it. I don't think they brought it. Oh, there they go. Just as I say, Great Axe Band. There they are. They're in combat. They're a really strong unit. They're one of the most expensive units they have. I think more expensive than some of these Amazonian like elite units. And they're really, really good shock infantry. And uh, hopefully, because there's no archers over here for Amazonia or Nova Amazonia, they could take these guys out without an issue. We'll have to see. They're coming in a bit of dribs and drabs, to be honest. There is certainly even better on the flank. But unfortunately, because they've got no flank uh, to attack yet, they're having to go head in. And they should, I mean, they should take these guys out. They may want to send in a sword unit as well, but they are actually beating this unit quite uh, quickly. But yeah, maybe send in like painted ones. Forces choke point. Um, because they're sending in some more Amazonian elite infantry now. And Nova Amazonia, I mean, I keep... I was about to say he's running out of reserves, but then out of nowhere come some Hoplite sisters. Surprising that these... Uh, these units weren't in set in first because they're the cheapest units. But maybe they were just defending a flank. Ah, they were they defending this flank over here? Quite possibly. This other bridge. I would definitely push that other bridge if I was Caledonia. Maybe send, should have sent your cav around there now. But they've got plenty of reserves. Got more Peltas. They've got Amazonian Cavfracks. Ah, so it's, uh, it's actually um, traditionalists that have the really good cav. I think Nova Amazonia's got some pretty reasonable cav. Yeah, these Cavfracks. Yeah, they could be useful. They might be able to get a sally out uh, somewhere and do some damage. But, I mean, yeah, the Amazonia is still really struggling. These pikes now are dying. They did go in and just kind of got surrounded by other flanks. Um, and Nova Amazonia's had to send some infantry over. Arm armored infantry. So, I mean, that's a good sign for um, normal Amazonia that he's taking out the traditionalists. But at what cost? I mean, they can definitely push here, but... Look at what they have prepared for them. They just do not want to face that. If they've got cavalry. I definitely possibly debate taking out these uh, archers. I just... Oh, God. It's going to be a rough time for the uh, attackers. It's really rough over here. The Caledons look like they're having a hard time as well. It's going to take some miracle to break through all of these troops. And the Cavfrags come in. They're charging into the back of their own troops. So they're not going to get a great charge. That seems a bit wasteful. I'd hold on to these Cavfrags. No need to send them in, really. Your infantry is doing a really good job in holding back all these legionnaires. I watch this little battle here. These little couple of duels going on. It's so great to watch this little individual duels. See who's going to win. A small little victory in the... Uh, in a lake of even smaller victories. I don't know. It was like... If you win your duel, you're winning a little victory for your side. And then, But in like the grander scheme of things. I guess that's what I was meaning. I don't know what I was really meaning. I'm talking gibberish as usual. As usual, Pope is talking gibberish. But um, no, I want to go over there and have a look at... The breach looks like it's about to be taken. These are all pre... These Hoplite sisters like went straight in and they got instantly rinsed. And I haven't sent them some elite, more elite infantry. I would definitely be trying to force this way. These, uh, there's definitely a way through. These great axes, though. How many kills have they got? 87. Jeez. Um, but, I mean, the balance power, it says that the attackers have got this in the bag. Well, not got it in the bag, but it's uh, in their favor. But, to be honest, the attackers keep charging against these walls of, like, infantry over here, for instance. And they keep getting repulsed. And you can tell from the body count, like, look how many of them are, like, dead. This is an insane amount of bodies here. I mean, these roll spears are still fairly fresh. Like, the most of them, like, the worst ones lost about 60 men. Or women, I should say. I thought they were about to take the offensive, though. And they've got more roll spears and hoplite spe sisters behind them. Jeez. I thought they'd be opening fire now. They've got tribeless warriors ready. Have they spammed out tribeless warriors? They were a really, really cheap unit. I would not have brought these guys. But, uh... Fair enough. We'll see what happens. Um... I mean, all that's going to surely happen is they're just going to charge against these guys and they're going to break pretty quickly, but we'll see. I mean, the most of the elite infantry, I think, now for uh, Caledonia is around here on this flank. And uh, 
He's really gunning on this flank being the way to get in. May want to try and open up this uh, gatehouse. I mean, it'd take a lot of uh, lives lost, but I don't know. You could definitely try it. But here we go. As I thought, they had some Amazonian heavy cavalry. I saw it right at the back with their general. Um, they have their general, uh, the general's royal cavalry as well. Um, so they might want to just go in with this heavy cavalry and take out these archers. I don't think they've got ammo left. So uh, they're kind of just being thrown away anyway, but... Send them in. I don't know why I'm yawning. I don't... It's like, again, middle of the day. Pope just yawns. I can't get over some like the head uh, wear that they're wearing. Like they've got some really really cool helmets. Like that one, for instance. That's very like Scythian sort of style. That's awesome. You've got like that one there with the wings on. Looks at, uh, like that's very much. I think that's like the Colchis, uh, uh, like noble hoplites or whatever they're called. Like their elite hoplites. That's the uh, the helmet they use. And there's another one in there as well. That's like uh, like the visors on top of their head. Almost. It looks really cool. I think I've spotted it a few times. But uh, this is huge. Anyway, we'll stop helmet watching. And uh, you can see here they've got Amazonian archers, a fresh unit, up onto the wall. And they're going to fire into the back of these Amazonian legionnaires. And they're going to basically route all of these guys. These are all gone. Uh, like, this is not the greatest of units, but these Amazonian archers are still good. They'll rack up kills. I've seen them get, like, 200 plus kills, and they will do this easily. Let's try and get, like, a view of what they're shooting at down there. They're just, I mean, they're just shooting in a fish in a barrel for them down there. That's what they're shooting at. All of those legionnaires there. And those legionnaires are just like, we don't need any more. Like, we're already losing. Come on. Don't shoot us in the back. Come on. Just let us die with our swords in our hands. On the end of, a, like, our enemy's sword. But yeah, they are, like, getting focused down. Yep. Yeah, so they're, they're all gone. They're going to have to send up some more troops now. But Amazonia is already running out of troops. They've got all these stuff, like, this weakened stuff here that's, like, held up just looking at what is, uh, by far and away, a death trap. What have they got here? They've got men of Amazonia. Uh, Amazonian royals, uh, royals, royal spears, sorry. Uh, and, uh, royal peltasts. And, ro well, royal swords. So we've got a lot of elite stuff. We've still got some pikes as well, which, I mean, they're the only faction that I... Of the Amazons that can bring pikes, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, they're running out of infantry. They don't really have enough. I think the traditionalists... If this is all the traditionalists have left, then that's fairly close. But Nova Amazonia keeps sending troops over. Uh, but as I say that, they look like they're running their troops back. They're running troops back. Caledonia is causing issues. And uh, yeah, I think Amazonia needs to just slow down a little bit. Maybe let, maybe do a few little uh, attacks just to keep like their reserves here. But like... Caledonia needs to do a lot of work now. He's got a lot of troops left in comparison. But yeah, I mean, this breach point has been an absolute mess. These great axes are still in here. They got 138 kills. That is pretty good. I mean, I can definitely see, could have seen them getting more if they were attacking on the flank. But uh, yeah, they've done a good job. They've done a good job. I mean, what we've got here, we've got the blister crew. We've got painted ones. got spear wall ready to go in. Spears, though, against this uh, defense may not be the greatest idea. But they're constantly massing, like, all the, like, broken and awful troops here. Are they just going to go for one mass assault? I don't know. But, I mean, they're winning. These Chosen Swords are winning now. I mean, these uh, units are getting more and more tired every time they keep going in. Maybe that was the idea that we were thinking of. If we keep cycling in fresh units... Will eventually break through here because these guys will be just so exhausted. I mean, I presume these tribeless warriors are rubbish. They are literally like they cost like two hundred coin, and they have no armor and no shield. They are probably going to get murdered. I mean, combat even. I'm not sure how. Yeah, there they go, losing decisively. Yeah, I don't think these tribeless warriors are going to be the uh, answer. Are these ambushers. Maybe been useful earlier. They could definitely be used to sneak around some places, but yeah, they, they're going to need to find some other ways in. Ah, they are going to do what I thought they were going to do and burn down this gate. I think they are going to try and burn this gate down. They're then going to have to worry about the oil. 
Yeah, they're going to burn the gate down. They're going to open up another way in. I mean, Amaz uh, Nova Amazonia is ready. He's got some uh, armored infantry ready to face him. But I'm like to see that the Caledonians are like, right, so our current plan of action is not working. I mean, they're getting shot up as they do this. It is going to be a brutal... Oh my gosh. These armored archers just destroying them. They're already down like... 15 troops. They're going to lose probably another... Yeah, oh my gosh. They lost like another 10 there. And that volley. They're going to lose a lot of guys in like... Burn this gate down. They've only got 17 fire damage. Jeez. Yeah, the, this is... What the hell? These guys have lost like 40 men already. That's insane. Um, yeah, they, they could be in trouble, this spear unit. They're going to might have to send up like... Someone else to finish the job. They might lose that infantry unit just doing that. And that's a real shame. Because that's a fresh spear wall unit. That's an elite unit. But yeah, I mean, Amazonia is not holding up. I was like, well, you need, they need to hold up. They need to slow down. But no, they're just going to go full in. They're going to go for, with Royal Peltas in here. They've got their uh, men of Amazonia in here. They've got all sorts. They've got Royal, royal Spears. They got the lot. I mean, they are attacking on all fronts, so they don't have to worry about this flank. But, I mean, if they can break through this, and they are... It looks good for them. But, I mean, there's a, a lot of these units over here are actually pretty weak. There's a, well, there's a lot of weak units there, but they're not... So if this is all the traditionalists have left, and that's really good... I can't tell. There could be hidden stuff for all I know. But Nova Amazonia, I mean, if Nova Amazonia's only got all this left, then eventually the Caledonians are going to break through this breach point here and kill everything. It's like these are the last two units that they're sending over that are free. They just need to hold them here. They just need to keep an. They don't even need to send stuff in. Just keep this tribeless warrior stuff ready. Yeah, it, it might be getting close. These archers are still here, though. They might still have ammo. I think they are. I mean, they've given these guys a respite, which is lucky. They're going to burn down this gate. They're going to still get shot every two seconds by the uh, arch towers, but they're getting some sort of respite from the archers, which is really what was killing them off. But I don't know. They might. They might win this. These uh, hot plate sisters here losing decisively. Amazonian Royal Swords losing decisively. Um, they're getting a bit beaten up now. Amazonian sending in his elite infantry, so. We'll see whether that makes a difference. We've got a uh, giant blister here. Has that still got ammo? I don't know. If it does, it needs to start firing into this blob of troops here. I'd send forward the pikes. Make it like a decisive victory, what's going to happen here. But these hot are trying to flank around. And now Amazonia's going to like counter that. He's going to fall back. And just not give uh, the hot blight sisters that a bit of uh, a flank. I mean, they've got cavalry here. They could probably route the sisters with just that charge. And sending in some archers now. Oh no, this is a lot of ammo. Don't send them in. They have bows out. I do like these royal spears though. They're really, really nice. They need to send them in though. They're not actually in combat. And I'll just send in like the royal peltas here. They could just go in. They could annihilate. Yeah, here they go. They're going to go in and surely they can annihilate that hoplite sister unit in like no time at all. There's like 40 of them. And so this is a fresh unit. Yeah, here we go. Here you go. Send them in. And this is a weak flank. You can take these guys out and then uh, you get in behind. And then you look really good. And they've only got uh, their general left, I think. I think. Oh, they've got um, peltas as well, actually. Oh, these peltas still have ammo. They could be nasty. And they've got archers. Jeez. They've got... They still have more. They still have their general as well. They have peltasts. It's going to be hard. It's going to be rough. This uh, cavalry though. The cavalry's going to try... I think it's going to try and pull through. They could have got around this gap here quite easily. Yeah, they pull, they're going to pull through. Uh, and which I would be a bit upset about if this happened to me. Uh, pull like pulling through, but they're gonna go after these archers. I mean, that's a uh, big win for the uh, cavalry here. I mean, if they can get the ma the majority of that force through, but they're all stuck in combat here. They need to get through, and they need to get after these archers, and then there's a threat. I mean, there's Amazonian royal spears coming up now, though. They will uh, cause issue, but now they can just hammer an Amdal into the back of all this. Oh, that could be nasty. This could be nasty. This cavalry in the back doing work, doing work.
And he's going to pull back through the... Oh, God. That's so frustrating. You're like, oh, we're going to catch that cavalry finally. No, they're just going to pull through their uh, the front line, which, I mean, they did lose a lot of men for that. So, I mean, that's a bit of karma. So you're going to lose a lot of men if you pull through. And Amazonian Royal Spears now having to go into combat against uh, the Royal Peltas. I'd say that the Royal Peltas will win that because it's sword versus spear. But now is the time to have, like advance on this side. It's a two versus one here. Man of Amazonia could definitely take on uh, the Royal Spears. And this is a Royal Hot Plague. Take these guys on. Threaten this flank here. Force these re uh, reserves back. But the Calfracks are back. I was going to say, I don't know where they've gone. This is a fresh unit. They're just going to go into the back of their own troops again. They are. They honestly are. Oh, no. Just... What they need to do is get, like, if they, like, fall back. Like, look at that. That was a... They just, they just charged into their own men. That was nasty. They need to get, like, clear this street and get the cavalry to just run down. They will run down a unit, I imagine. Like, how elite Amazonians are in this mod. I'm sure that their cataphracts are nasty. Um, but, yeah, quickly looking back at Nova Amazonia... I mean, look at what's just waiting for them, really. It's just a bunch of Scottish people. And, uh, I mean, if you just shot, like, arrows in here, you're going to get a lot of kills. But, they, yeah, they burned the tower down. They lost the entire unit. They lost that entire unit, didn't they? And uh, they did not burn the tower down f fully. They nearly got it down. Oh, I don't know why there's a little bit of lag spike there, but they just clearly didn't like me looking at the oil. Um, they're now shooting these Royal Spears in the back with these uh, Highland Hunters. That's really good. Chipping away at these units. Um, but yeah, they are not looking good here. These uh, The Scottish are going to break through. If this currently carries on how it is. They'll take out this Amazonian Royal Spear. They'll move on to that one with the Archers. I mean, I think the Caledonians going to need more troops around here. Oh, they've got a Oath Sworn through. There is actually a gap here. They broke through. I mean, they definitely are like pulling through as well, but... They, there is a su substantial gap for half the unit to get through. And they're actually, they've annihilated that entire flank there. Jeez. So, I mean, that actually frees up all of Nova Amazonia's troops that are on this flank here. Um, so, he needs to be careful. They need to be careful with that. Because, I mean, really, they, the Scottish should have kept enough troops over there that they were still going to have to occupy stuff. Oh, jeez. I do apologize. Don't know why it has, like, a lot random lag spike occasionally on this mod. It is a, a little negative, I guess. But yeah, so I mean, it looks like it looks like Nova Amazonia is probably going to clear up uh, the Caledons here. Then they've got just basically one choke point to worry about. I would say that's pretty good for them. I think Caledonia's made a mistake. He should just get this force here. This Ed. It was trash, what was here, most of it. Apart from like that, that one Oath Sworn. It's all trash here. They should have just kept it ready and threatening. Um, but it looks like Amazonia is going to keep it here. Maybe he thinks that there's more still here because uh, there's these Highland Hunters here. If that's the case, then uh, Caledonia's possibly been given a, a lifeline to break through still. Uh, Amazonia on this side, he looks like he might break through. He might rely on this general to be killed, though he's still pretty fresh. But uh, yeah, these Royal Swords are like, looking good. I mean, they've got plenty of more like a roll spears of their own in here. Like, ready to go in. It's, it's going to be difficult. The cab's in combat here. Why? Why? I mean, these Carfracks now could probably get around and do a lot of damage to this flank, actually. And they could certainly get outside and go and take out the Amazonian general. Because that's a melee against a shock. The shock would do well on the initial attack. I may actually win that fight. Uh, but yeah, it does look like Amazonia is nearly out of troops and might nearly be out of the game. It's really not looking good for these attackers. They've got one unit of hot plates in reserve and that is it. And they might have to send them around this way because the traditionists are uh, going to win this flank. They are, Yeah, they're going to win this flank by the looks of it. These uh, roll spears surrounding these uh, men of Amazonia. Can these brave men, the outcasts of society, of an Amazonian society, do uh, some good and get some honor from holding the line? This, they've got to hold this flank, otherwise they're in trouble. Like, around here, they might need to send these uh, royal hot plates around to go and save them. 
But I mean, yeah, these traditionalist player keeps charging in his cavalry into the back, into like their own, uh, their own men. It's just not a good idea. It does not end well. I mean, he doesn't get any, any kills, uh, like, I mean, you lose any men, but you don't get any kills either as your cavalry. Your charge has just basically been nullified by your infantry. But, I mean, they keep sending up more and more here to the uh, Nova Amazonians, and, I mean, they just can't break through. Cataran Brigade. It's a pike unit. Oh, they have pikes. Oh, they should have sent them around there. They should have sent them into that front. That was a really good spot for them to be. I don't know why you'd put... Send them through a breach is never a good idea. They've got more Cataran Brigade, uh, Brigade, but that's only a 42 unit. This is 110. Yeah, these pikes would have been huge. I did not realize that the Caledonians had pikes in this mod. But that's, that's great that they have pikes. I mean, if you can get inside the city, taking on Amazonians with pikes is a lot easier. Apart from if you're facing the normal Amazonia, then they do have pikes. That's frustrating. And you hate it. You hate to see it. But yeah, I'll get those pikes out of there. I'll get those pikes out and just send them back around to the other side. They've broken already. No, 74 of them left. They've broken. They would have been so useful over here. They would have broken. Through. They would have pushed these guys back. They've got kills. That was their chance. That was, that was a golden opportunity to get those pikes in there. They may rejoin the fight, but, I mean, they're going to lose a lot. And they've got the pikes in here now on this side. And, uh, I mean, this is probably why they're winning here. They've just got to hold this choke point here. I mean, the traditionalists will keep having to send stuff in. It's going to be close, but... Oh, God, it's... Far too close to call. I mean, these men of Amazonia are combat even, and they're being surrounded. And they're actually beating those Royal Spears. Jeez, these men of Amazonia are good. Yeah, and the Cataphracts did go after the general. I did think they would. And they're getting annihilated. Jeez. Maybe the Cataphracts didn't get the charge off. I don't know. But I would have thought these Cataphracts would have been good in combat against uh, the smell of Cataphracts. I mean, I, they would have not got the... They would have got the, good, the initial charge off quite well if they did charge in. But yeah, they're now gliding... Melee and they uh, they didn't do so well. I think you'd have to charge like the stationary general to like done really well. Like if the general charged as well, they would have done just fine. And as you can see here, this Carfax now they look so like funny when they're just like in their charge animation, but they're in actual combat. They like got their spear and like yeah, but really they they're just not doing anything. They're not doing any damage. And these Cataphracts are going to get killed off. And then the general needs to just go and support the men of Amazonia. And do some cycle charges into uh, this uh, Royal Spear unit. This uh, uh, Hot Plate just needs to support over here. And then just leave this uh, avenue open just for the general to just constantly cycle charge in. And then they can free up these units and they can flank over here. And there's a real, real chance now of victory for Amazonia. There's real... I mean, they just need to quickly break this Cataphract. Hurry up. Die already. These archers got ammo left. No, if they haven't, if, there's, if these 52 archers don't have ammo, send them into combat. Need every single woman in combat right now. But they've lost on this flank here. The Peltas died here. They're now getting pushed back. They're losing. Uh, the general's pretty beaten up, but now they can flank here. The, pe the archers need to be at Selenton just to like hold them in place. Because these pikes are under threat. Oh, it's far too close to call. On this flank, certainly. I don't know about the Scottish. The Scottish may have bottled it with losing their pikes. It's hard to say. I mean, but then if it's... Then if, uh, well, they, they can win this flank, then obviously they can come around and help the Scots. But, yeah, it's going to be close. I thought the Caledonians were doing a really good job against the uh, Amazonians, which are obviously really hard. But, yeah, the General's having to come in this side now because, uh, well, the Royal Spears are threatening the rear so i mean they can't do their offensive here well what i suggest they did they need to get this crew off just get these 40 men into combat and there you go these hot plates over uh, they've broken one unit they should break the other they should now they can flank here themselves and surround and then they can go in and attack these royal spears in the back as well but yeah surely if they can take out the traditionalist general they've got a really good chance of uh, succeeding because these traditionalists have been in combat for ages here we go charge for amazonia and that was a really good charge. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they knocked down a lot. They knocked down the entire unit. How many of them will get up? I'm not sure. But yeah, they're losing decisively. They're getting cut down. They need to send in these archers. Oh, they're wavering. They need some infantry and just to make sure they win this fight. Because, they, yeah, now they're losing. Because it's cavalry versus infantry. Oh, no. That's not good. That's not good. They needed some infantry in there. 
Oh, and the general might die. The general is dead. Oh, no, Amazonian's general is dead. This might cause a chain route. Oh, yeah, unit of 86 now wavering. And that was such a good unit. Royal Spears breaking. Oh, no, it's not good. It's not good. I mean, they're winning on this flank. They need to get the general load for their own, um, for, like, for the traditionalists. Then they could probably do another chain route. Just look at this. The pike's now breaking. They're at 148 and they're going to break. The pike pool's like got like surrounded. It's just trying to defend its rear now from the general. It's going to get chopped down from the back, like from its initial front. Oh, they're actually, they stabilized. They stabilized. Everything stabilized after the general died. Only a few things died. Oh, they need to be quick. They need to be quick. They need to kill their own, like the traditionalist general off soon. Oh, hurry up. The pike's are dying. Where's that cav? Oh, the, if the general is still alive now, it would have been a great idea to get Harry and But they should have just allowed the general to surround himself. Give himself surrounded by cav and infantry. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh my gosh, things keep breaking here. The traditionalists have, could break at any moment as well, to be honest. They've got such weak units left. Their archers are going. Oh, and the general's going for them as well. No. Oh my gosh, it's going to be insanely close here. Amazonians, um, coming around now. They are coming around. The Caledonians need to hold on. And then if they can do that, then, uh, well, the Amazonians can just threaten this rear with what they've got left. And the Caledonians can just hold, well, need to hold and they all surround them. You'd hope, anyway. I mean, this pike unit needs to stay alive. That'll be key. 84 pikes left. Stabilize, please. General is dead. Is their general dead? Yeah, recently died. The general for the uh, tradition is recently died. I think that's going to be the tradition is out. I think they'll surround this unit here. This Royal Spears is still winning. It's very fresh as well. Um, Nova Amazon is having to send back troops, I think. He's sending back his uh, elite infantry. He should have sent them back earlier. They've just been stood by that gate doing nothing. And the same on this side. They j I mean, I guess they didn't know that there's nothing here. But, I mean, the Caledonians are coming in again. They're going to have to. They're coming back in this side. If they can just hold in this breach point here with everything that, like this, keep sending in that way, then they can just push in this way. And there's not much, like, in the way that Nova Amazonia's got left in reserves. Jeez. He's sending out lots of his fresh units to come deal with what's left of Amazonia. But if they can just charge onto the pikes, then that's really good for them. And there you go. This is the final defense of the traditionalists. The brave, brave women of uh, the traditionalists. They're like the separatists, these guys are supposed to be. They're like the actual rebels. Nova Amazonia is not actually a rebel faction. Um, but yeah, the traditionists are in a civil war with the uh, with the Amazonians. So that's perfect. Perfect for this battle anyway. That they've been fighting each other. But yeah, in the campaign, these, guys are the, uh, these two are at war with each other. Like straight from the start, I'm pretty sure. Nova Amazonia's like already been an offshoot that's already happened. Certainly one of my more favorite factions, I think, is Nova Amazonia. Because they're just insanely good archers. But I do like the Legionnaires as well of uh, normal Amazonia. Send in your blister crew as well. Just get those 40 men. You need them. Um, it looks like maybe Nova Amazonia is going to hold here. But if he keeps his troops here, he's in a really sticky position. Because look at this. Now, um, well, the Caledonians... Are just in. They're actually finally got in. These uh, Caledonian Oaths won though are somehow only just in combat even. They might want to send in some Scatter Shadows or something like that. But yeah, they're going to try and hold in this uh, the street here as their final defense. And they're sending out archers to do what? Oh, they're going to try and flank the general? I don't know. They might be, yeah. They might be trying to flank the general. I mean, that won't work surely because they'll just send out. Yeah, Scatter Shadows already going back now. They look like they're going to just cut down those uh, poor Amazonians. But yeah, this uh, week, I mean, there's still got some elite infantry, fresh, basically. I mean, it's fresh for this pit point in the game. And they've got uh, Royal Spears left. They're going to need to get another general kill, I think. Um, but yeah, the other Amazonian faction needs to get moving. Like, these Royal Spears, they'll die. <laughs> Just get moving. you got to get your pikes up here. you got to, like, start pushing on uh, Nova Amazonia and helping out your ally. But it is, uh, balance power now is very much in favor of the uh, attackers. As it's been most of the battle, but only now I would say that the, like, the attackers have really shown their, uh, like, might. 
I, because like the Caledonians, I don't think are strong enough to beat like head on. The Caledonians were gonna lose against Nova Amazonia. Just fact. It's only because Amazonians finally just grinded through the Amazonian traditions that they've had a chance. Um, oh my gosh, what a javy volley that was! And there we'll see them. The Oswan going. This is a fresh in of Oswan, but I don't think these guys will break through. I don't think they'll break. They would break through like. They break through these tiny few units, yeah. But they don't think they break through that armored, uh, that elite infantry waiting for them. And there's another one waiting for them, or armored infantry waiting for them. But the, the thing is that there's too many places now for the uh, Nova Amazonia to defend. He's got this wave. They break through here, which I think they're going to do. The general looks like he's going to kill that unit off. They've then got um, like one, two, three, four choke points to hold. And I don't think they've got enough infantry to do that. Because the pikes are back though, that's a good sign. The pikes are back for uh, the Caledonians. I mean, their general's over here he's, well. He's in an isolated spot, which is a bit bizarre. If they have any cavalry left, that would be really good. But I mean, Amazonians look like he's just going to send up his troops and just go down this one choke point, which is not a bad idea. I send some pikes and some swords maybe, but that'll be about it. I'll send the rest around here, try and force this way through. Or go around here, just help out the... Uh, Caledonians taking out this uh, elite infantry unit. But it's going to be insanely close. It's going to be... Well, I say insanely close, but it's uh, it's probably wrapped up now. There comes the pikes. They're going to break through here. Now the pikes will help force back these Amazonian elite infantry, you'd think. I don't know. I don't know. Caledonians got most of the troops left. you think think Amazonia could still break at any time because he's got no general. But he's survived this long without a general. He's probably going to survive... The rest of the battle without the general. And the pike unit for like the Caledonians is so hard to see. Their pikes are tiny in comparison to like the pike wall of Amazonia. They have Diddy pikes. Minuscule. And yeah, they sent in another elite armored infantry over here. They should definitely keep it in reserve ready just like in case these choke points open up. Like the general here for the Royal Cavalry. He probably doesn't want to go out too far because he could get isolated. And look at this, I think this is the main cap point and they're taking it. Or well, they're taking a main a, a cap point. Uh might not be the main one actually. I think the main one might be I don't know where the main one is. I have no idea. This ah, this is it here. This is the main cap point here. But yeah, they're taking a cap point, so they're bringing down the morale of the defenders and increasing their own, I believe. Yeah. And they're gonna try I think the general was gonna try and uh flank around there, but the Caledonian general seen it, and he's just going to stand there and wait. Best thing to do, just put the spear wall in the, in the breach point, and uh, then have the general just carry on his attacks, or have the the vice versa. Have uh, they, how have they got this unit behind Tribus warriors? How do they get by? Oh, there is a gap down this side. They've done quite well there. Well done, Caledonia. He's just fa keeps finding gaps. I mean, definitely a few of them over there were definitely pull throughs, but uh. That one certainly wasn't. And here we go. We're going to have a charge from the general. Probably one of the last hurrahs as the uh, scattered shadows run away in fear. And the Amazon... Oh my gosh. That Amazonian general got so many kills there. Because this is a, a light infantry. They are probably like rinsed. Wow. Yeah. They lost over like half their unit. But if the general dies here, this is probably a uh, GG. But it does look like... Uh, the uh, Amazonian general, uh, the Nova Amazonia is beaten. Oh my gosh, there you go. A chain route. Jeez. That is a chain route and a half, and that is definitely going to be the end of the battle. And it's going to be a costly victory for Amazonia and the Caledons. So we'll end the replay and have a look at the end result. So uh, this was sent in by uh, Mythic Yeet. Um, so thank you to him for sending this in. And uh, Gandalf, uh, another one of the subs and a member of the Discord, uh, taking part. So uh, well done to both him and uh, Gandalf and Mythic Yeet. Uh, but yeah, so we'll have a look at uh, Mythic Yeet's army first. His general getting only 87 kills, a really elite uh, cavalry unit, and only getting that many. His uh, heavy cavalry only getting 43 kills. I think he could have done some better hammer and anvils, possibly. His archery getting 73 kills. His archers, they're not great. They're pretty cheap and like pretty poorly armored. 122, 124 kills. His armored infantry um, only getting 68 kills, the best one. Uh, oh, no, 105 there. That's a, a much better. His citizen hot plates getting a 17 and 14. Yeah, they were not great. His uh, elite infantry getting 308. That's why you bring them. They're really, really good. 
His Legionnaires did okay. Quite a few of them getting uh, into the hundreds. This one getting 335 kills. Insane. Um, just, they are good, these guys. But uh, they seem to get outclassed by mostly like elite infantry and stuff like that. Um, and then his uh, Royal Hot Plates getting 149 kills. It's still really fresh. His Pale Task getting 161. His Royal Spears getting 140. His Royal Swords getting 163. His Men of Amazonia getting 216. His Pike Wall both being into the 300s, 315, 319, insane. So well done to him. Uh, and then Gandalf uh, with the Caladons, 160 kills with his Oswan, 292 kills with his Briton Ballista. Uh, that's really, really good. Um, and then his, uh, well, his uh, Chariot is only getting 80 kills, which is a shame. His Cavalry, which is really good, only getting 16 and 9. His Ambush is getting 112. Uh, his Highlander Hunter is getting 93, which is okay. Um, his Chosen Swords, 142, I think the best one did, which is kind of a shame because they're quite good. Um, it shows the strength of the Amazons. And then uh, 121 with Zosworn. His uh, Great Axe is getting 138. And his uh, like Painted Ones, 71 kills, which I thought they were doing quite well, to be fair, at one point. His Scatter Shadow is 71, and his Tribus Warriors just did nothing. And then Amazonian Traditionalist, played by Jeff. Um, his general getting 131 kills. His arch getting 233, which is really good. His peltas only getting 94 kills. His royal spears getting 127, the best one. His uh, royal swords, wow, lots of them getting into the 200s. Uh, I think the best one 241, but like 230, 225, really, really good kills. Then rice merchant uh, playing as Amazonia, 239 kills with his general, insanely good. Most of his arches. Uh, Getting like really good scores as well. Getting 227, the best one. Um, his uh, armored infantry getting 170, the best one. His uh, elite infantry 122, 164, 285. Wow, some really really good results there for him. Uh, 194 with his uh, royal spears, and his uh, actually no an even better one 238. And then his uh, hot plate sisters 79 kills, the best one. So well done to Jeff and to Rice Merchant, a really good defense, and to Gandalf and Mythic Geek uh, as well for their great victory. It was a really, really close one, so thank you for sending it in. And uh, if you enjoyed, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support if you'd like to see more new world mod action. And please let me know as well in the comments. I always like to show off this mod if you guys want to carry on seeing it as well. And until next time, guys, I will see you guys later.